Yeah, hi. We are from SVS Embedded. The project title name is IoT Based Underground Cable Fault Detection. So this is my own web page. So red cable fault, yellow cable fault, and green cable fault. So ESP32 Based Underground Cable Fault Detector using IoT. So there are R1, R2, R3, one kilometer, two kilometer, three kilometer. Y1, Y2, Y3, G1, G2, G3. There are nine switch buttons. So it is providing the input to the ESP32 board. It is Arduino compiler board and L293 the driver IC, quadrupole HBG driver IC to triggering the relay coils. So those are connected with 4, 0, 2, GPIO pin, relay 1, relay 2, relay 3. Red, red cable fault, yellow cable fault, green cable fault. So 36, 39, 34 ADC pins. These are all 9 ADC pins given to the ESP32. 16 cross 2 LC display RS enable D4, D5, D6, D7, 23, 22, 21, 19, 18, 5. So let's start with power supply board first. So here bridge rectifier, filter, capacitor, 7805 regulator, and one LED. And ESP32 board, ESP32 board, development board. And here 16 cross 2 LC display character LC display whatever the process is going on that should be displayed on the LCD so there are all uh, R1, R2, R3, Y1, Y2, Y3, G1, G2, G3 so all everything ok 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 after every 5 calls it will send the data to our own web page so if there is any fault occur it should display so it is sending the data now we have to wait so we are providing the internet with a Wi-Fi hotspot module. Okay. So one device is connected. So here also everything okay, okay, okay. So here also okay, okay, okay. So all are okay. So R1 red LED fault, yellow LED fault, green LED fault. Now I am going for yellow cable 1 kilometer, green 3 kilometer. Okay. Yellow 1 kilometer. Yellow 1 kilometer, green th 3 kilometers. So, okay, 1 kilometer, 3 kilometer. So, here, yeah, 1 kilometer fault and 3 kilometer fault. Okay, so now I am going for everything should be okay. Okay. Okay, so once it is okay, after every 5 counts, it will check any fault occur. It nothing should be happened, it will update the data onto the server. Now we after five minutes it will restart the restart our page okay so now it is sending the data just we have to wait for some time once it is updated the data into the server then everything will be okay 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 so now i am going for the yellow cable uh, sorry red cable two kilometer fault so red two kilometer fault red two kilometer fault and it is updating after five seconds so whether checking for the any other alternate uh, uh, fault occurred and it will update the data onto the server <coughs> every five cones it will update the data yeah two kilometer fault one kilometer two kilometer three kilometer two kilometer is fault so here is the two kilometer okay now it is going for the zero okay continuity now it is in the checking mode then okay 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 after everything should be okay now we will for, go for g1 yellow okay then r1 red cable fault yellow cable fault so then one kilometer three kilometer and one kilometer and it will update the data onto our server okay so once it is sending the data then it will send completed so it is in the loop mode uh, after every counts completed then only it will send the data to our server one kilometer three kilometer one kilometer so it will come one kilometer three kilometer and one kilometer it will come yeah it is updating the data one kilometer 3 kilometer 1 kilometer 1 kilometer 1 kilometer 3 kilometer and 1 kilometer distance okay 
so now everything will be okay 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 so esp32 board and lcd display relay coil and uh, r1 r2 r3 y1 y2 y3 g1 g2 g3 this is a line driver i see to switching the relay coil so everything will be okay it will come like this power supply board so uh, red red cable yellow cable green cable and then l293d relay coils spdt relay and then esp32 board and 16 cross 2 lc display thanking you if there is any doubt let me know to svs embedded